Today, we are going to see some examples of polygons. Which of the following figures are polygons? We are expected to identify polygons among the given figures. Can you tell on which basis we will identify whether a given figure is a polygon or not? Think a little. Let me explain this. As you know, a closed figure made of line segments is called a polygon. On this basis, we can say that a closed figure is a polygon if all its sides are line segments. Here we see that figures C, E, H, J and K are not completely made of line segments, rather these are made with curved lines. Similarly, figure F and G are made of line segments but these are not closed figures. Hence, all these figures C, E, H, J, K, F, G are not polygons. If we observe A, B, D, I and L, then these are made of line segments and are closed figures. Therefore, in the given figures, figures A, B, D, I and L are polygons. Observe figure I carefully. Though this appears as an open figure to us, but if we start from one point and continue to move on its boundary, then we observe that we reach the same point from where we started. Therefore, it is proved that this is a closed figure indeed. Next example. Solve the following puzzle. I am a polygon which lacks a diagonal. Tell me how many sides are necessary to form me. Such an interesting puzzle. We need to draw such a polygon which does not have a diagonal in it. The number of sides of this polygon will be the answer of the puzzle. So let's solve this puzzle. As you know, a polygon is a closed figure made of line segments. The line segments from which the polygon is made are called sides of the polygon. You also know that at least three sides are compulsory to form a polygon. Let's draw some polygons. This is a polygon with three sides. This is a polygon with four sides. And this one has five sides. Let's talk about the polygon with four sides. If we connect such vertices which are not adjacent, then we get a diagonal. In a four-sided polygon, we can draw two diagonals. Similarly, in a five-sided polygon, we can draw five diagonals. Can you tell me how many diagonals can be made in a three-sided polygon? Think a little. Absolutely correct. This has no diagonal. Hence, this is the polygon represented in the puzzle. Since this is made of three sides, the answer to the puzzle is three. Next example. Construct a polygon P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and identify its adjacent sides. Here, we have been given a name of a polygon. Let's use this to construct the polygon. Can you tell me how you would do this with the name? Think a little. Let me explain this. Each letter in a name represents a vertex. Since there are seven letters, therefore, we can say that the polygon will have seven vertices. So let's represent seven vertices of a polygon with seven points. But while doing so, be careful about the sequence of the vertices. Now if we connect the vertices, then we get the polygon PQRSTUV. Since here no condition is given for constructing a polygon, we can construct it in different ways. Pause the video and think about it. Now let's find adjacent sides in a polygon. As you know, the two sides having a common endpoint are called adjacent sides. In this way, Adjacent sides in polygon P, Q, R, S, T, U, V are P, Q and Q, R, Q, R and R, S, 
आर एस एन एस टी एस टी एन टी यू टी यू एन यू वी यू वी एन वी पी एंड वी पी एन पी क्यू जस्ट थिंक इफ वी आर गिवन कंडीशन सच एज लेंथ ऑफ साइड्स एंड एंगल्स शुड बी इक्वल देन इट वॉज नेसेसरी फॉर अस टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द पॉलीगन विद गिवन कंडीशन इन दैट केस ओनली दिस फिगर वुड हैव बिन करेक्ट Now solve this question by yourself. Draw a polygon with six sides and identify how many diagonals can be drawn in this. So today we have seen examples on polygons. In the next video, we are going to see misconceptions related to polygons.